Hebrews chapter 6 verse 19 it says we have this hope as an anchor for the soul firm and secure the hope that this verse is talking about is the promise of God the promise for a future the promise for an inheritance the promise of a savior and this is a promise that we can hold close to us and hold as an anchor for us that promise is Jesus Jesus is that anchor Jesus is the only thing our hearts can sing and ever praise. There is not enough adoration or worship that we could ever do that could ever amount to how much praise he deserves. But yet, Jesus, at your feet, we bring this worship and we bring this song.
Father, for this time that we can just pray and just praise your name, Father. Thank you, God, that you are indeed our refuge, our focus in our times of need. Thank you, Lord, that there's no one like you, that there's none beside thee, Father. Lord, even now as we sing this song, help, help us to reflect toward you, Father, Lord, and help us to know that you're in control of all of our situations in our life, that, that, that you're taking care of all of our needs and that you're meeting us, Father, and you are drawing near to us, Lord. And indeed, Lord, even as we praise you, let us worship and just bow down in reverence, Lord. Thank you, God, for this time.
In John chapter 15, we hear Jesus say to his disciples that without me you can do nothing. And yet, we don't see Jesus today on this earth. So what did Jesus mean when he said, you cannot do anything without me? So later in that same chapter, we read that he talks about the Holy Spirit. He says, it is better for me to go so that the Holy Spirit can come down. So he will be the helper and He will lead you to all truth and He will help you live out the life that I expect you to, to be my friends. Jesus did not just break the curse of death, the, the bondage to sin, but He did something far more. He tore the veil and He said, my presence will not just dwell inside a building, but it will now dwell in the hearts of every person who believes in the name called Jesus. And that released and opened the gate for the Holy Spirit to come and dwell among us. The Holy Spirit is, is, is doing an amazing work in us that He helps us live the life that Jesus expects us to be living. He helps us never go to the point of sin. He breaks the cycle of sin so we don't have to keep making the same mistakes over and over again. The blood of Jesus helps us break the power of sin, but the Holy Spirit helps us live in purity. He is our helper and He helps us go step by step from strength to strength and from glory to glory. And so as we sing this song, Holy Spirit, we welcome you, God. We welcome you here in our midst and we ask of you to come move in our lives. We welcome you here in this place. Oh, there's nothing Nothing more sweeter than your name, God. Oh, we welcome you. There's nothing worth more That will ever come close Nothing can compare You're our living hope Your presence, Lord Tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves When my heart becomes free and my shame is undone In your presence, Lord, so we welcome you and fill the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for To be overcome by Your presence, Lord There's nothing worth more that will ever come close Nothing can compare You're our living hope Your presence, Lord I've tasted and seen But the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence lord oh you welcome here oh holy spirit you are welcome 
come here Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for To be overcome by Your presence, Lord Oh, Holy Spirit, You are welcome here Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for To be overcome by Your presence, Lord Let us become more aware of Your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness Let us become more aware of your presence Let us experience the glory of your goodness Let us become more aware of your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness, God. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for To be overcome by Your presence, Lord Oh Holy Spirit, we welcome You here Come rest on us, Jesus. Oh, come rest on us, Holy God. Oh, Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all we want. You're all we want. Oh, yes, God. Holy Spirit, come rest. On us, you're all we want. Oh, you're all we want. Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all we want. You're all we want. Oh, Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all When you feel the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will fill me. Calm down, spirit. When you move, you make my heart pound. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will fill me. Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all God, Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all we want. You're all we want. Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all we want. You're all It proclaims, Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. 
Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His heavenly hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for at His command they were created, and He established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that will never pass away. May all glory and honor and praise be to our God and to our God alone. Let all creation praise Him for His mighty wonders. Our role in this universe is beloved. And who is man that you are mindful of us, God? Thank you, Lord, for giving us this gift, this joy of worshiping you.
promises of blessings that God gives to each of us, and especially in the Bible. It's recorded in Genesis 12 that God makes promises of blessings to Abraham that he will have descendants as many as the grains of the sand, as many as the stars of the sky. And again, in Deuteronomy 28, God promises prosperity, fertility, and victory over the enemies of, to the Israelites when they obey, when they are in obedience. And then finally, to us, we have the greatest promise of a blessing to these believers that the New Testament records that when we have our faith in Jesus Christ, we will be able to be made heirs and co-heirs with Christ. And this blessing is not just for our generation, it's for generations to come who put their trust and full faith in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. on his people that were blessed for generations to come, for their families, for their children. When we believe in the name of Christ, that same favor rests upon us. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations, and your family, and your children, and their children, and their children. May his favor be upon children and the children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children May His presence go 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful moment of togetherness, for being able to be called your children, for you have called each and every one of us by our name, O Lord. And we thank you for having your favor be upon us, that you accept us as your own, that you have adopted into sonship and daughtership, that we are given a name that you can call us uniquely, O Lord. Thank you for being in our presence, for always being before us, for always guiding us, for being in our midst. And even today as we worship together as a family, as a body of Christ, Lord, I pray that you will be in our midst wherever we go, wherever we are. And in whatever we do, we put you first in our lives, O Lord. Amen. <laughs>